we now wind our way to Willoughby Waterleys in the UK county of Leicestershire. It's home to Linda Cottrell and Jane Stretton, whose lifelong friendship and a shared passion for horses led to the creation of Springbridge Driving for the Disabled Centre, a charity offering carriage driving to those with special needs. We started the Carriage Driving for the Disabled Group 21 years ago. I've always been around horses, so I love their attitude to people and I love seeing the change in people when they come here. It is a calming place to be and I think most of the people that come we treat as friends. This is the sort of thing you have to do for your friends when they help you. <laughs> we have been friends for 55 years. It started off as a, a very small hobby and it was just a field and this is what it's progressed to. Yeah, we just go from week to week really and just continue to enjoy the horses and driving and it's just part of our lives. And couldn't imagine it any other way really. Most of our horses we have had from babies and we brought them to drive and then shown them and then come into RDA. The driving side comes quite easy to them really. The main thing with a driving horse and particularly an RDA driving horse, they've got to stand still because if you're pushing a wheelchair up, you cannot have them move off suddenly with the wheelchair halfway up the ramp. For visitors, time spent bonding with the herd is a vital part of the therapy process. This is particularly true for partially sighted Lisa Lawton, who also suffers from anxiety and depression and has been coming to the centre for four years. One thing about me is I'm fiercely independent. When I first lost my sight, people were putting me in chairs and giving me cold drinks so I didn't swingle myself and telling me not to move. And it was the worst thing they could possibly do for me. When I came here, it was, right, what can you do? Get on with it. And so I did, and I bent my green ponies and I got clean stables. OK, Lisa, do uh, just give her a body brush. The moment I get in with that, pony, harness, the smell of horses and the sound of them breathing and snuffling and just, just being just seems to settle something inside me. It's like my soul settles. This is my, for cliche, I suppose, happy place. It's got a magic about it. This is Smarty and she is smart. She's very smart. Let's look at that face. Look at those eyes. They tell you everything, don't they? Not being able to see properly, I can't read people's expressions. I can't see their faces. I can't read their lips. You, you, you can't go up to a person, put your hand on them, and feel what they're thinking. Whereas you can with a, with a pony. Amy McKean struggles with both epilepsy and autism and during her visits has formed a particular bond with Norwegian Fjord Echo, who amongst other things seems to share her passion for music. I was once listening to the Backstreet Boys song As Long As You Love Me and I played it for her and she started bopping her head along to the beat. She likes the same songs I do. It's really quite funny to see her go no and sh she'll shake her head to get the ear thing away if she doesn't like the song. Really calming to be around her and to give her fuss and talk to her and you can tell her anything really. I suppose it's being able to vent in a way. You feel like everything's building up. I can just vent to Echo and she listens. When it comes to driving, safety and security is at the forefront. The centre uses specially designed carriages with removable seats and ramps to accommodate wheelchairs. Rear wheel steering means that when going around corners, the horse remains in front, making for a more comfortable and reassuring ride. We always have three people on the carriage when they go out. We have a coach, which is me or one of the other coaches. 
We have the disabled person and we have somebody sitting on the back. The disabled person can have a set of reins or doesn't have to. The person on the back of the carriage will be holding the lap belt just to check that they're all right. We have a car with us with three people in as well to just, in case anything happens. It is cold some days. We run it all, all year because some people do still want to come out. It's their only form of getting out and if they're in wheelchairs, so they're a lot freer going along. They can see more and interact with more and, you know, they just, you know, some of them they just can't stop laughing. Feels like an adventure in a way, I suppose. Something I'm not able to do. It's quite nice also being outside, uh, winding your face. I recommend it just because it's awesome. So it's an immersive experience. Um, the feeling of the carriage is calming. The, the sound of the hooves, all the senses sort of get engaged for me. And I love it. It also gives me more sight because I'm up. So I can see more and it's the independent. All of a sudden, I'm not that person that everybody sort of walks around and is a bit scared of because I've got a white stick in my mouth. Um, it's given me a friendship that is so sound and so loyal and you won't find kinder people. They, they are so generous, so giving of themselves and of what they've got. And that's very rare in the world today. We enjoy the people because we like to see their faces when they're enjoying the exuberance of going along the roads all around the school. We just get on with people and, and they come and they don't have to come on the day they drive, they can come any day and just call in for a cup of tea, a cup of coffee, there's usually cake. Anything that we can do to make their life a pleasure and make the horse's life a pleasure as well. My horses are my family.